Hello once again guys. Uh, this is a solar update for uh, March 7th, 2012. I made a video last night after Sunspot 1429 um, emitted a X 5.4 flare and it came off the eastern limb of the sun so we weren't too concerned at the moment. Um, but on the Signet streamer last night, it wasn't even showing up. Um, now, we looked at some... If you look at my video from last night, you can see on Stereo B that uh, the uh, X5.4 was a pretty magnificent um, eruption. And I didn't think it would be Earth-directed, but I'm a little bit more concerned when I look at the Signet streamer this morning, there's your X 5.4. I've been watching solar data for quite a while now and the density down here and velocity. I've never seen it up into the white and the gray areas. And some places are even black. Look at the size of this. Even though it came off the eastern limb, you know, I don't have a PhD in, uh, in solar physics, but here's Earth. This is a top view. Look at this solar flare. Here's from the side. That looks pretty Earth directed to me. In fact, it looks like we're right in the bullseye. Over here on the right, right here, this is looking down the barrel from the sun looking towards the Earth on the uh, on the solar uh, plane looking from the side and all three views that looks almost center well not quite centered it's a little bit to the west of it but that looks pretty earth directed to me um, I don't want to scare anybody but this does look ominous looking at the date uh, X flares travel a lot faster than C and M class flares, so it looks like this will arrive late to, uh, let's see, probably on the 9th. I'd say uh, March, probably March, late March 8th, or by noon, afternoon, March 9th. And what seems curious to me is, uh, let me go back to Planet X for a second. I want to go to our homepage. I'm not one to believe in coincidences, but there is a. The FBI had put out a warning about a week or two ago that on March, here it is right here on our front page. Planned U.S. internet blackout on March 8th raises concerns. You can go read this article. Um, it talks about how they're going to uh, disconnect and switch over some DNS servers. Uh, that's what they're saying, but it seems awful funny to me that we have a major flare that's going to be hitting late on the 8th. Um, you know, is that coincidence? I hope so. I would hope that that's all that it is. Um, we'll look at some more solar data. Um, this is Delta 2012's website. Magnificent site. So the site may take a little while to load. Um, scroll down some here, point out a few things. Here's the ghost uh, proton flux. There was the March 5th um, 
X 1.1 flare. There was the 5.4 X flare last night, and the event lasted a while. It kind of tapered off, and then that's where we are now. Um, scroll down a little bit because I want you to see the uh, X-ray absorption chart that he has posted up here. Be patient with me. There we go. Um, our magnetosphere is taking quite a beating, as you can see by the saturation right here, especially at the poles. Um, the poles absorb most of the uh, radiation, uh, the proton density that's coming in, and then it distributes it down to the lower latitudes. Um, as you can see, the poles are absorbing all that they can right now, and it's starting to uh, light up the lower, uh, down along uh, the lower latitudes. So, um, just wanted to give you guys an update, and we'll be keeping an eye on this storm over the next 24 to 36 hours. And let's hope that Sunspot AR1429 does not produce another X flare because it will be earth directed within the next 24 hours thanks for watching and subscribe